Hi, I'm Tim Beggy, and this is Guts and Bolts. In this episode of Guts and Bolts, glass action. First up, they say people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. But what about shooting machine guns? The secret guts and bolts of how one-way bullet-resistant glass works. Then, it's been well over a hundred years since the light bulb was invented. Still don't know how they're made? Let there be enlightenment. It's history done my way, next on Guts and Bolts. Check this out. Whoa, look at that. Obviously, this is bolt resistant glass and it easily stopped a nine millimeter round. But what's gonna happen when we turn the glass around and shoot it from the other side? Whoo! As you can see, this ain't your run of the mill bolt resistant glass. It's special. It allows a person being attacked to return fire while maintaining its bolt resistant properties. I'll show you. Gentlemen, can you turn it around? Even though the glass has been shot from both sides, I want to show you that it still maintains its integrity. Whoo! Bang, you're alive. Look at that. How is that possible? Well, today I'm going to get to the guts and bolts of how 14 years of research and development have produced the first and only one-way bolt-resistant glass. Traditional bullet-resistant glass invented in the 1920s repelled bullets shot from any direction. The basic design began with two layers of standard glass with a layer of vinyl sandwiched between. The whole pane was about an inch thick, and the thickness of the glass is what stopped the bullet. To resist higher caliber bullets, they just made the paint thicker by adding more layers of glass and vinyl. After Pearl Harbor, bullet-resistant glass was installed in FDR's Oval Office and Presidential Limo. Since then, it's been keeping people safe inside everything from banks to some military Humvees and police cars. Today, bullet-resistant glass still uses layers of standard glass but now they're often backed by a layer of polycarbonate, a flexible plastic that acts as a shock absorber and keeps the pain from shattering. The only problem is, you can't return fire when you're behind standard bullet-resistant glass. Now for the first time, with one-way bullet-resistant glass, you can. It's all because of the ingenuity of Yosef Labak. As an Israeli commando in the 1970s, he saw firsthand what happened to comrades who weren't protected by armor. In 1976, Labak quit the army and went into the security and armor business. By 1987, armed with just field expertise and creative solutions, he'd become the primary supplier of armor systems for all military and police vehicles in Israel. Today, Carlos Davidov is CEO of Labak's Technologies Company in Florida. Here he shows me the guts and bolts of one-way glass. This glass has two, four, six impacts, six and is still holding integrity. So, how they come up with this miraculous material? Well, Yosef Labak discovered it totally by accident. Back in 1990, he was trying to develop a thinner and lighter bullet-resistant glass. When he shot one side, it stopped the bullet, just as he expected. Then, by mistake, the window got turned around. Labak took another shot, but this time the bullet hit the other side and passed right through. The secret to this revolutionary performance lies in three materials Labak used then and today. On the outside is a layer of acrylic, a plastic that gets really hard when it's compressed. On the other side is a layer of polycarbonate, a soft, flexible plastic. And the glue between them, an advanced resin strong enough to keep all the layers stuck together. These three materials work as a team to give Labak's glass its high-tech properties. To understand how it works, let's start with something decidedly lower tech. A needle, a coin, and some fabric. Push the thin, sharp needle against the fabric, and it passes right through. But push the wide, flat coin against the fabric, and the fabric stops it. When you're shooting from the outside of one-way bullet-resistant glass, the first layer the needle-sharp bullet hits is the acrylic. 
the bullet compresses the acrylic against the polycarbonate and the more the acrylic compresses, the harder it becomes. This flattens out the bullet like a coin and slows it down. Enough for the flexible polycarbonate, acting as a shock absorber, to stop it in its tracks. Now here's where the magic happens. When you shoot from the inside, it's all reversed. The bullet pierces the polycarbonate layer, which is meant to be a shock absorber, not a frontline defender. When the bullet reaches the acrylic, the acrylic doesn't compress and get hard because there's no polycarbonate to compress against. So the bullet doesn't flatten and shoots right on through. Bad guys, look out. That special resin Carlos mentioned is the only ingredient that binds the layers together. Without it, the layers would come apart after a few shots. So it's actually the secret sauce in between each Absolutely. layer. Absolutely. What's the resin made out of? That, if you don't mind, I'm gonna keep it for myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're moving on to the ultimate test. Josef and Carlos take me out to the firing range to see how one-way bullet-resistant glass stands up against today's deadliest rounds. Up next, taking our best shot as glass action continues on Guts and Bolts. Guts and Bolts is brought to you in part by Nissan. Welcome back to the Guts and Bolts of one-way bullet-resistant glass. Carlos, you have the ability to stop more than a 9mm, and Yosef, you're holding a AK-47, which is the preferred weapon of a lot of bad people. Can you stop the bullet? Absolutely, absolutely. This bullet uh, travels at about 2,700 feet per second, uh, which is about three times the speed of a 9 millimeter, mm -hmm. obviously packing much more energy. So we needed a much thicker glass, and we have at Labac developed glasses for each one of the different type of risk. Labac's Type 3 one-way glass is strong enough to stop bullets shot by an automatic assault rifle. At three inches, it's a little bit thicker than today's standard bullet-resistant panes. But thanks to the advanced materials, it's 25% lighter. Well, I know uh, you have to drive this home and maybe do some grocery Most shopping definitely. later on, but uh, would you mind if we tested it out with the AK-47? We'll shoot at it right now. Okay. okay let's do it. As a guts and bolts extra, we've commissioned Mark Corbin of Vision Research to capture the action frame by frame with his ultra slow motion video camera. Okay. So now we're gonna put two bullets on that uh, window there and uh, you'll see whenever you're ready, go ahead. Here's the view from the high speed camera. The bullet flattens and slows as it hits the acrylic. Then the polycarbonate stops it. Nice wow. shot. Wow. Look at, that. Look at that. Not even trauma. Not even huh? phase. Yeah. No trauma. Well, let's say we uh, can return fire from the other side. Let's do it. From the other side of the glass, Carlos will aim at this balloon. Woo! Check out this view from the high-speed camera. The bullet passes right through the polycarbonate, then shatters the acrylic, which has nothing to reinforce it. The balloon, like a bad guy, takes a hit. You want to do it again? Absolutely. That came right through. Yep. Twice. One here, one here. Bang, bang. Bang. Bang, you're dead. Bang, you're alive. Now for the final test. We'll see how the glass holds up after already withstanding two shots from each side. Wow. Even after taking multiple hits, the powerful resin keeps the acrylic and polycarbonate from separating. For security reasons, we can't tell you the exact number of shots this material will take before it fails. In the future, attackers might think twice knowing that their victims can shoot back. Well, gentlemen, thanks so much for the powerful demonstration. Show me the secret beyond one-way bullet-resistant glass. Well, from glass that saves lives, we move on to some glass that's making the world a brighter place. 